Welcome on board. My name is Eric Stromberg. I'm Caroline Eno, and we are here to present you the new Prestige 590. The Prestige 590 is really a, uh, an amalgamation of all of the great uh, features uh, that are found throughout the uh, Prestige uh, DNA. Obviously, things like the 360 degree view from the saloon and the separate access to the owner's cabin, but lots of additional features that we'll present to you throughout this presentation. Let's start off here in the galley, which is the true focal point of life on board. As you can see, we have a big opening uh, bay window that gives you this very easy communication uh, inside uh, and outside. Nice little cockpit bar here. This is really the focal point because it gives you quick access to the cockpit, easy access to the fly, and of course the interior. We place it here at the back of the wheelhouse to give it that great uh, location. It's a fully equipped uh, galley with a refrigerator, uh, freezer, uh, microwave oven, induction uh, uh, cooktop. Uh, we can do optional uh, dishwashers, and we've got tons of storage uh, for dishes and for plates. The cockpit is a real key feature of this, uh, of this boat. You can see we've got tons of space back here. This is our uh, relaxed uh, sofa seating uh, option, which allows you to have a, a combination sun pad and seating area back here, retractable backrest, big table with uh, fold-up leaves, lots of cup holders, whether that be in the armrests of the sofa or here at the table. Uh, really a great space to, to relax on board. The standard uh, configuration of the cockpit is with a, a standard backrest, so it gives you plenty of seating with the, uh, the L wraparound, and we have here also a direct access into the uh, crew accommodation. The aft platform of the Prestige 590 is, is a great space. Obviously, uh, available hydraulic platform, so you can put your uh, tenders, your jet skis, all your toys on this platform. Built-in uh, auto steps, which stay level. Uh, no matter what angle or what height you put the platform on. You can see here the relaxed uh, sofa seating that comes out over the, uh, over the back end of the, of the cockpit, uh, which gives you the, all that great lounging space forward. The standard seat is a much more of a straight back seat, so giving you a little bit more circulation here. You can see here the mirrored glass window of the, uh, of the crew cabin. Uh, one of the key things about the Prestige 590 is that we offer this boat with an available tender garage. So instead of the crew cabin accommodation, we add the tender garage uh, and the hydraulic platform drops out of the way. We open up the garage and we can fit up to a 2.85 uh, meter uh, mini jet or jet tender uh, in that garage. So it's a very nice uh, feature to have and really a unique feature in this size boat to be able to offer different uh, uh, back ends of the boat depending on the program that people want to use. The flybridge of the Prestige 590 is really a great space uh, to spend time in. One of the key things about it is that each space is a dedicated space. So we have a very nice uh, seating area back here uh, with, uh, with a table. We have a very large uh, sun deck area with uh, adjustable backrest. And we have a galley which integrates in fridge and uh, grill. And forward of that, a full featured, uh, full uh, control of the boat through the pilot station with engine controls and joystick. This convertible bench seat here it allows you to have additional seating facing forward so people can enjoy the drive. Backrest flip up to give you a nice lounging position here on the forward sun deck. The helm station is, uh, is a full second station up here with uh, all engine controls, uh, joystick, electronics, even the optional uh, seat keeper has a, a separate control that's up here so a very easy way to, uh, to run the boat uh, when you're on the flybridge. The nice galley up here Gives you a little bit of a wind break with the opening door. Hot and cold running water, grill or plancha can go in here. And we've got some areas for some storage in here and nice big fridge for the drinks. The foredeck really constitutes the third exceptional space on the exterior of the boat. It's an area that is often neglected. Uh, it's an area that you can come up here and sit and be away from the dock, away from the people. Uh, it really gives you a great view of the water. On the 590 here, we've put in a, a, a huge sun deck forward. In fact, it's as large as the one that we do offer on our 680, uh, so really a great space. Plenty of room for, uh, uh, for sun lounging. We've got a, a, a retractable uh, backrest here. We can even do an optional table that goes high-low up here, so you can have a nice drink uh, out on the foredeck and really turns this space uh, into another lounging space uh, on board. And another nice feature is the available uh, sun awning on carbon fiber mass it takes about five minutes to install and it gives you uh, very good uh, sun protection uh, up here on the foredeck. So of course there are exceptional exterior spaces but it's really this interior uh, saloon here with the 360 degree view that sets the, uh, the 590 apart in her category. As you can see huge uh, seating areas. We have a lounge area here uh, that's up one little step 
that really gives you uh, a lot of extra seating and visibility uh, to the exterior. A big uh, seating area here around a transformable table that can go up and down, turn into a, a coffee table. And a lot of work uh, in terms of the, the materials and the types of uh, elements that we're adding. Things like the, uh, the LED lighting uh, in the ceiling, all done with strips. Of course, all on a dimmer system. So really a very easy boat to uh, set up uh, with your different levels of uh, comfort. And then we offer a variety of different woods. This is the standard wood, which is a gray oak. We can offer a darker wood and we can offer even a 100% a gloss uh, dark wood uh, that is really stunning. We've also added this new material, it's a laminate material, it's a ceramic uh, countertop. It's a very high-end uh, material uh, that really sets off uh, the galley quite well. And you can see here we've worked with a lot of the designing of the corners uh, with a molded wood uh, that really gives a very sophisticated uh, a look. The last thing that is really worth noting in this area of the boat are the ergonomics and the circulation. As you can see, you can step in. There's no door sill coming from the cockpit. There's no step down to the, uh, to the galley. And there's only one step up to the saloon. So very easy to walk around and to live on the boat. At the front end, we were able to integrate in a 40-inch television that drops down. It's a luxury table that can come up and down slide away and uh, open up so you can configure the space for different uh, conditions and different uh, entertaining uh, possibilities. The pilot seat slides forward and allows you to use the space here as a great little lounging space. You've got the opening door here, direct access out to the side deck, uh, plus the, uh, the sofa seating behind. So all of this really adds to the comfort that you have here in the, in the main saloon. The driving station for the 590 is really nicely laid out excellent visibility forward. Uh, we have everything here uh, at your fingertips. We integrate in the, uh, the ship control system, so that gives you uh, all of your information uh, to the various uh, domestic systems. We have uh, on board, uh, we are driving with uh, Cummings uh, 8.3 liter engines hooked up to a Zeus uh, pod system, so we have all of the vessel view with the information. We have uh, a Seakeeper uh, uh, as an option. Here with its control, we've got a spotlight a remote, as well as a, a handheld remote for the spotlight, which is a nice feature. Uh, all of the various functions, whether that be uh, horn, lights, uh, windshield wipers, all of that centralized, very easy uh, control for the buttons. And then moving on really to the systems that are the drive systems, uh, the, um, the, the Zeus uh, Cummings uh, joystick, which is a particularly nice uh, joystick, and the, uh, the handles here. It's important to note that with this, uh, this propulsion system, we integrate in a lot of excellent features, including dynamics to, uh, positioning. So we have the skyhook feature, which allows the boat to stand still in a single place, which is nice when you are uh, putting out your fenders or dock lines or waiting for fuel, uh, you can hold uh, position. It integrates also into a, an autopilot. Uh, so you have autopilot running either for the, uh, a particular helm setting or on a track. Uh, you also have uh, a feature of auto flaps, so you can uh, control the flaps manual if you want, but when you use the auto flap function, uh, the flaps deploy on the Zeus pods in order to give you the maximum uh, efficiency uh, for the engine. Uh, and then all of the features uh, that you find with uh, the, uh, the Cummings engines, the trolling valve, uh, single lever, all of that built right into the, uh, right into the engine controls. Let's go check out some of these systems uh, down in the engine room. The engine room really centralizes all of the functions of the boat. We've got all of the electrical systems uh, that are centralized uh, in here. We've got the, the large fuel tanks with a visual gauge. Uh, we have a big Onan uh, generator. Of course, the engines. We've got room for the sea keeper, as you see there uh, underneath the generator. And we use a centralized uh, chilled water system for the air conditioning, which allows us to really put a lot of BTUs into the boat. The forward end of the boat is reserved for the, the guests. We have a very nice, gentle, very wide companionway that leads down to this floor here, where we have our VIP uh, cabin, we have a guest cabin uh, to port, and we have a, a very large uh, washroom with a uh, separate shower. Under the stairs, we have room for a full-size combination washer-dryer and plenty of storage for your products and other items. The VIP cabin on this boat is really almost to the level in terms of finish and size as you would find in a typical owner's cabin. Uh, so we have a very large uh, bed, plenty of uh, light and ventilation coming in from the hatches and the hull ports. Uh, we have a ton of storage, whether that be under the bed, in the hanging locker, or in a dedicated walk-in closet, which is rare to find on a boat of this size. A 
Uh, also a lot of nice uh, details, including uh, a vanity desk with a backlit mirror uh, and a seating. Additional feature is the bed uh, can be separated into two separate uh, berths, so it gives you maximum flexibility depending on your guests that come on board. The third cabin is equipped with two single berths that are on a track system that can slide together to make a large double. Plenty of storage in this cabin with storage under the bed, a big hanging locker, and a particularly nice feature is that we can add an additional bathroom, a private bathroom for this cabin that takes the place of the walk-in closet in the VIP cabin. A very large bathroom is uh, directly accessible from the VIP cabin. It also has a, a second door to make it into a, uh, a day toilet as well. You can see here uh, the use of a lot of the materials that we use in our prestige yacht range, the, the Corian countertops, uh, the Corian flooring. This is a material that's very easy to uh, maintain and to clean. Uh, you have uh, uh, electric toilets, of course, as, uh, as standard with a freshwater flush and a gigantic shower compartment here with a built-in seat, plenty of room for your products, view out to the water, uh, lots of headroom. So really a very nice space uh, for your guests uh, to come and uh, spend their time on board. And last but not least, we take a, uh, a stroll into the owner's cabin with its own uh, private access. Here you get a sense of the size of this cabin. This is a, a full beam cabin in the center of the boat. Uh, very large uh, bed, very easy circulation, very few steps uh, down on this level. So when you get down here, you, uh, you easily move around. We have uh, here uh, a seating uh, area with uh, two seats and a vanity desk uh, that uh, provides a nice little place to uh, relax. We can also add a uh, chest of drawers in this area if people want a little bit more storage. You can see the huge windows uh, to the exterior with opening ports for cross ventilation. So this becomes a very nice space to spend time in. Uh, big television with a 40 inch uh, screen uh, and then centralization of controls for air conditioning and even the, um, even the music system and everything can be done uh, right here uh, from the bed. This cabin is full of great details, including the lighting, uh, the vanity desks with the uh, backlit mirrors, plenty of storage. Particular attention was paid to storage on board, so we have a very large uh, hanging locker. We have storage uh, throughout in the, the vanity desks and so forth. We have very large uh, drawers under the bed and a nice uh, furniture uh, as you step into the cabin. One of the truly unique features of this boat is the uh, full beam walk-in closet and uh, washroom. You can see as you come into the space here that you've got plenty of storage in terms of uh, hanging lockers, you've got drawers underneath, you have a mirror, uh, you're in a very nice space. As you step through from a glass door into the shower, uh, nice headroom in the shower, nice fittings, uh, Corian uh, flooring and so forth, and you step back out the other side into the, uh, into the bathroom, uh, with its uh, sinks uh, done again in a corian material, which is very easy to clean, very easy to maintain. It uh, takes all of the various products. Uh, it comes really from the design that we created with the Prestige Yacht range. Uh, so it's very, a lot of very high-end uh, details. And this entire space here is accessible by two sliding mirrored doors uh, that really open up the space. So thank you for taking the time with this video. And uh, Eric, do you have something to add with this model? I think that, you know, if we're really going to sum it up, it, it comes down to three key points on this boat. We have this dynamic design, there's these fluid lines, a very modern looking boat, a uh, very contemporary feel uh, to her throughout. Uh, a lot of work on the, uh, the ergonomics, uh, a lot of work on the flow and the comfort on board. Uh, there's really a, a lot of elegant details that you'll find throughout, from the molded wood uh, to the materials that are used. Uh, to just the general feeling of space and light that you get throughout the boat. That's been a big part of what we tried to put together. And lastly, there is this, this idea of the superior technology that we're able to bring to bear uh, on the boat, whether that be through the, the coming Zeus package, which provides incredible performance uh, on the water and easy uh, maneuverability. Uh, and of course, the ship control, uh, this new innovation from us that uh, allows you to control the boat uh, really at your fingertips. Uh, so I think the combination of those, those factors really makes this boat uh, a great boat uh, for our, our range, uh, and we invite you to come and see it. So Caroline, where can we find all the information on this boat? On prestige-yachts.com, and come to see us at the boat shows. Thank, Thank you. you.